Holy electrons, Batman. Well, today we have some immense, exciting news coming out of California. So Super 73 held an event in Los Angeles and they unveiled their brand new line of bikes. I'm talking a new class of bikes, specifically built for performance, ingenuity, over the air updates. And we're gonna talk about it and that's coming up. What's up guys, this is Hervé from Hervé's World, showing you that IT means I try. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. So on this channel, we do unboxings, desktop support, life hacks, actual hacking, and a lot of great stuff on EVs. Now, I know you guys may know I have two electric bikes from Super 73, and in our household, we're all electric. We do electric skateboards, we do electric cars, but today is unprecedented, mind-blowing, groundbreaking news coming out of California. So we're gonna talk about it today. Anything we discuss in this episode, you will find right on the bottom right over here. Now, if you don't know Super 73, they've been the darlings in the industries by bringing out innovative, really cool, stylistic bikes. Your favorite YouTubers, your favorite actors love these bikes, but down to the core, they're a great group of people making really great bikes for the industry. Now, their bikes, on a scale of one to 10, were about a 12, and they took it to the next level. And we're gonna show you and talk about each of these new bikes. Let's go take a look. First, this is the new fleet of bikes that they have. So let's take a look at all their new bikes, and then we'll break down each. So, they have three classes of bikes now. They have the R series, they have the S series, and they have the Z series. So let's take a look at the R's. So this is a brand new class of bike. Now, they put the most powerful and technologically advanced drive system and they give you multi-class rider modes. Not one, not two, but four different rider modes in a performance vehicle that's actually street legal. You don't need registration, you don't need insurance, and let's take a look. So if you take a look here, this is how it looks like. This is the red variant. Absolutely amazing. And this is the gray. Okay, let's take a look at some of the highlights. Now we have here an aluminum frame. Now the RX is aircraft grade, which is 6065 aluminum grade. It's lighter and more rigid than steel. But what's important about this is it, it's rust and corrosion resistant, which means you can ride in the rain, the snow. Now the two colors that they have are carmine red and camel gray. Now if you take a look, the suspension is a coiled spring fork with air assist and a rear piggyback coilover monoshock. That is amazing. So not only do you have the fat tires, but you also have an air ride system in your bike. Now let's talk about the motor. Now, on their motor, their DC hub is what they've had in the last couple years. Um, they usually had a 500 watt motor, a 750 watt motor, a 1000 watt motor, which was groundbreaking, but now they have a 2000 watt peak power motor. And let's see, the battery here has 960 watt hour it should give you 75 miles in eco pelosis mode, but you're gonna be able to be unleashed, which means unlimited mode, which will give you 28 miles an hour, and it's gonna be immense. So the headlight here, they redefined it. Now on my V2, I had a thousand watt light, but this is, a 600 lumen light so that's going to be interesting to see now on 
most of their bikes, you'll see their cabling is usually outside of the frame, but they put it inside of the internal uh, tubing. So it's gonna reduce clutter. It's going to help you protect those wires because you know they're always moving around and that's gonna be good. So let's talk about the brakes. Now on the brakes, they only pick the very best brakes. They have the Tech Pro brake system on their bikes, but this here is a groundbreaking four piston forged aluminum caliper. Now these rotors, they're 28% thicker and they're gonna give you way better performance. You're gonna get uh, better heat dispersion, heat tolerance, and better brake life. Now the tires, if you know a Super 73, you know that it's all about the tire. It's all about the fat tire. But these here are a BDGR tire, which is exactly five inches wide. Now it's the widest and most aggressive 20 inch tire available, but these here are very special because of proprietary. It's gonna help improve traction, reduce road noise, increase stability on both road and light heavy road duty riding. So as you see here, the bike has a cafe racer style uh, styling on the R and RX model. And the handlebar side is a 32 seat height, but you'll be able to put people 5'3 to 6'8 and it will accommodate a riding weight of 325 pounds. Unbelievable. So that is some of the highlights of the bike. Let's talk some of the smart features. Now, this bike is not just a regular bike. It has ingenuity and makes me think of another electric company with over the air updates. I dare to say that this is equivalent of a product as important as the Tesla. This is a groundbreaking generation bike. You're not gonna see this in any other bike. So they developed a Super 73 app ready, which is a suite that will work on iOS and Android from a mobile app, which means you can fine tune your ride. You can select different stuff that you'd like to do from your phone. Now it has an interactive smart display. It has a monochromatic LCD display with Bluetooth connectivity, which means you can connect it to your app for different aspects. Um, you can control the lights, the torque, the air ride suspension. That's what it's gonna do. Now, this is groundbreaking. It has turn-by-turn -turn navigation. You can actually drop a pin or type where you wanna go and it's gonna give you turn-by-turn -turn navigation from your phone or directly on the LCD. M mind blown. Now, this is a very first. This bike has over the air updates for the latest firmware. Now I have the Tesla Model 3 and I gotta tell you, it really, really makes a difference when you don't have to go to the dealership or bring your bike in to get an update. Just gotta connect it to Wi-Fi and you're gonna get the latest firmware and operate at peak performance for all the tweaks that they're going to do. I could just imagine how the developers are gonna be running wild with this. Now, what's great is this? In the US now, in the 48 states of where there are legalities in riding electric bikes, you have level two class ride, which means you need a pedal assist bike, which will only go up to 20 miles per hour. Anything else is deemed illegal and you don't wanna get anything with trouble with the law. But the R series brings you a legally ridden bike without insurance because you're able to switch it to three different modes, pedal assist modes, but you also have an unlimited mode, which will give you peak performance, which is like a class three up to 28 miles per hour. It will give you and enable 2000 watts of peak power under your throttle and you can reach speeds up to 28 miles per hour. But this mode should only be used on public 
roads, off-roading, and private property. Do not do this in the street. We don't need the community to be hassled by the popo. Okay, so this bike also has features of remote anti-theft security, geolocation tracking, and crash detection. Mind blown. That is amazing. Okay, so let's take a look at the S2. If you're familiar with the S1, this is an improvement on every design. So this is going to have, it's designed for the urban ad, uh, adventurer. It's gonna give you a cruiser style motorbike with an aircraft grade aluminum fork. You're going to be really good to go with this. So let's take a look. So it has a lighter frame as the R1. So it's basically similar specs as the R, but you're going to have this in the S2. It comes in three different colors, Galaxy Black, Apollo White, and Hudson Blue. Now, the suspension fork is also adjustable for preload and compression and reborn, rebounding dampering. The motor is the exact motor from the 2000 Peak Power DC Hub motor. And the battery capacity is exactly the same, 960 watt. Um, so what they've done here is they've streamlined the process by giving you different bikes with similar, if not the same specs. That is awesome. It's gonna make delivery of bikes so much more convenient for them to deliver us better bikes. Okay, so the headlight is designed of a high output triple LED system, 12 volt halogen light. It's the brightest available here. It's at 630 lumen. Okay, so this also have internal cable routing. Now I can't tell you when you're riding out there, and you're going through, you're gonna get water and dirt and dust going through. The last thing you wanna worry about is cabling. Um, it will also have the groundbreaking BDGR five inch tire. And the seat here will allow two passengers. So you can also get an extended seat, which will give you the capacity of riding two people. This will also hold a capacity of 325 miles, uh, three, 325 pounds, and this will accommodate riders from 5'1 to 6'2. So let's take a look at the brand new Z. This is the PSG X Super 73 Z. Now let's take a look. You'll see here that this looks really cool. This is styled after that soccer team, I assume. So it has thumb throttle only. This has chrome accented grips, custom badging, three piece fender set. That's really cool. Street slicks. You have a white rim, navy liner and red spokes. This is patterned after the Saint-Germain logo pattern, and it's a custom Super 73 logo on here. And it's really, really cool. Looks really good. I don't know what you guys are feeding these developers and graphic artists, but feed them well. They're doing a great job. Okay, let's take a look at specifications. So this is a 500 watt nominal uh, engine. 1000 watt peak. It's a class 2 bike. The range is 15 miles to 25 miles. Um, you have 418 watt hours and the battery is built into the seat so you don't have to worry about it. It's throttle only and the weight of this bike is 56 pounds and the max wider weight is 275 pounds. That is amazing. Okay, let's wrap this up. Bringing in their new selection. Styling, definitely there. Ingenuity, definitely there. They've upgraded everything on the bike. Now, 
from the old bike, I have the Super 73 V2. It was 1,000 watt. They doubled that power to 2,000. So you're getting twice the bike, same price. Right there, check that off. You're getting over the air updates. Now what other company does over the updates? Hmm, let me see. Oh yeah, Tesla. How's Tesla doing right now? They're doing great, which is why I got one. Over the air updates make a world of difference. You don't wanna take your bike to a bike shop all the time. You wanna have connectivity from your phone hotspot to your bike to get over the air firmware updates. Check, check. Awesome. Whoever did that, give a hug to that person. Probably you guys over there. Okay, so next, the styling and the fat tires. The cleanliness in the bike, and not just how it looks, but I mean the streamlined cabling, routing inside the bike. I ride my bike all the time. Rain, don't suggest that, but I ride in the rain, ride in the snow, you're going to have all your cables exposed if you're riding your electric bike. I haven't had any problem with wiring or uh, rust or any of that, but having the cabling running and routed to the interior of the bike is a brilliant innovation. One less thing you have to worry about. You're constantly turning the radius of your bike, you're going down, hitting bumps, and you don't want to break anything, you don't want anything exposed, absolutely brilliant. Next, let's talk about braking. Yeah, you can go fast, but how are you gonna stop? They have a four piston tech pro system on your bike with really big radius on there. Check, how are the tires? They have a combined brand new motorcycle and motorbike tire that's brand new that they invented for this bike. Check, check. I don't know. It, 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 I couldn't wait to see what they were having today. And I had to wonder, what am I gonna do? That's the big question. Well, I would say, take, please take my money, but I already ordered it. So it, it's, it's unequivocally one of the best values for electric bikes from a company that's risen above the rest of all the other companies out there. You're not going to get a better community of people if you just Google Super 73 community. The people are nice, they arrange bike rides, so it extends beyond the product. It's like you're automatically in a family that you go out on bike rides with. It's a really cool adventure with people to have the same experience and liking of the bikes. Can't put a price on that. Is it for you? Well, take a look at all the other bikes in the industry. These are groundbreaking specs. They innovated and pushed the envelope. Not only were their older bikes way above the rest, but now they top that. What do you do? Take my buddy, please. Okay, so I will catch you guys in the next one if you have any questions on my experience on having the V2 or the Z1, let me know on the bottom. These are like children to me. I ride these puppies all the time. And what I suggest, if you have a variety of different bikes, leave your favorite bike down so you can fall in love with the other bike. Um, I had my a V2 for repair and fell in love with the Z1. So just because it's a smaller uh, bike doesn't mean it's not fun. Well, I will catch you guys in the next one. I wish I was there, but my mind was blown. I was actually driving, watching the live event in the car while friends are texting me. Uh, Final Bobby, shout out to you. I had to stop, had to watch. And the minute I saw Le Grand breaking down the items of the innovations, I couldn't wait. I just had to go there and buy it. Well, that's gonna do for this episode. I will catch you guys in the next one. Super 73, we salute you.
What are you guys waiting for? It's oh. live right now. One more thing. I want to thank Super73 for an unreasonable... <laughs> I want to thank Super73 for an effect that I guess all great EV companies get. So if you are at the top of your field and keeping your competitors up to here in water and then you come out with a new product and now they're drowning because your product is so far superior, well, the effect is you're gonna get spammed in your Facebook and Instagram and they're gonna give you illegal bikes or they're gonna give you lesser bikes with less specs. So I wanna thank Super73 for now, all the competitors that are going to spam me, telling me they have great bikes, but it's not the case. With all great companies, as you see with Tesla, when they met and succeeded, and they're now the absolute best electric car company in the world, and now all the other companies are better, right? Well, Super 73 is the very same thing. Their bikes are second to none. As a matter of fact, have you ever seen me on my channel rep any brand? Never. Wear any merch? Never. Except for Super 73. And you heard it here, folks. So thank you, Super 73, for all the spam I'm now going to get on my Instagram and my Facebook from all your other competitors that are now inferior lesser bikes. Thank you very much. Mm. Holy bejesus.